Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your Instagram zipped data file. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now let's open up the Instagram app here. You can do this on iPhone or an Android. Now let's tap on the profile icon at the bottom right. And oh, let me go back. I will tap on those three lines at the top right. I'm gonna first walk you through the process of creating that zipped data file or the backup. And I'm gonna do that by tapping your activity midway down. After we're here, we want to scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see download your information. I can tap on that and it'll bring me to this screen. Now, if you have older backups or downloads, you can see them towards the bottom, but if you wanna create a new one, you can hit download or transfer information. On here, we will just choose Instagram here. And let's say just some of your information, you can always choose all of it if you want, but let's say I want to get all my messages. Let's hit next, download to device, and then create files. Of course, you can change the date range if you want, the format, all of that stuff. So just wait 10, 15 minutes, something like that for them to create that file. Once they do that, it will show up right here. So once you are on here, you can hit the download button. It will ask you to log in again to your account to verify you own it and hit continue. Now, after you do that, it brings up this bigzipfiles.instagram.com and I hit download. And you'll see basically it has the download button here and I can tap on it and tap downloads and then tap on this zipped file. Now, if you don't necessarily wanna go through that process or you don't know where it is, you can always open up the files app on your phone. So let's open up that files app here. And if you navigate back, you'll want to tap on on my iPhone and then downloads. And here you'll be able to see that zip folder that I just created to unzip it. I'll just tap on it. And then I can open up this folder and tap on connections here. And I can see my followers are following or I can tap on files and see all the other information that's associated with that. Now, keep in mind, of course, depending on what you wanna do with this, you can always share it, edit it, save it to your phone, email it, save it to computer, any of those different things. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.